Hey, this is Daryl with Apex Critter Hunting. I just bought two bikes, basically use these for hunting too. And uh, the Hemingway Cruiser Step Through. And they call it, only come in one color. And I decided to uh, trick them out. Can't handle that white. So I'm going to go from this to this. Do a little camo work on it. That that I done did there was uh, seven feet of uh, a nylon camel and I still got to do some more to cover up the battery and these supports to the back and then I'll be uh, basically done so we'll show you how to do that this is my first time ever doing it okay I'm getting ready to trick out this anyway uh, the cruisers here uh, step through only come in white when I got this uh, camo tape uh, mossy oak graphics tape I cleaned off this uh, section here with a denatured alcohol okay I got the first piece on and underneath the bottom part of this there's where they overlapped Running all the way up through there. That's fine, so I'll just cut it in the middle and peel that extra piece off. And all right, next will be I already took the battery off, so I'm going to take that battery bracket off and the controller bracket will probably be next and do the wrap around it. That six inch wide wrap is not large enough to go all the way around so I had to put a strip here first and then wrap over the top of it. Okay. Flip the bike over. Took the controller here off. Took the mount for the battery off. Okay. Got the bottom piece, bottom strip cut. Put it on right over the pre drilled bolt hole. This looks like and a six inch wide. Put it from the top down, we'll cover it. Take this. Cut a little X in it. To the next one. Smooth it all the way down. And down here. Cut that out with the wires up here. Alright. Now this piece, I turned it back over. I already put the one strip down on the bottom. Because the six inch wasn't 
wide enough to go all the way over and meet in the middle underneath. So this piece, I measured it from here because it's got a, a drop down. And I put this on there with a backing still on it. I cut out these holes because the battery cover is going to cover that. And then a slit in that. Finish that up. And then worked it down with my thumb and then back up. And smooth all this in. And underneath. This is where the this piece overlaps to here, and then this next piece on the other side. Just work it down to cover, just like that. Spot is right here, and it's got that slope to it. So I will position this piece in there and push it up to cover everything. I'm probably going to have to cut a notch and overlap them there. Got the backing off. That's a sticky side. Push it up in there, and I just have to work it around. And probably slip that and overlap it. We will see. Okay, this worked out. So this slopes down here, down. So I made a slip from the top out, and then work this this way, and then work this piece back, and then do the other side the same way, and then this piece. We'll overlap this one and cover it. So this is really smooth. I'll turn this turn this section off and I'll finish this in a minute. This front section is a little tricky. I cut out this section to slide it over there in this section too. And fitted this, stuck this down to it. Now I'm gonna work each side. And we'll see. All right, one more lineup to go on. So I measured this, and I cut two notches in it where this pipe comes down. I started up here, and layered it down, and it's smooth as can be. Now I'm just gonna work it around. Around each side, and that'll be done. I'll patch it up down there if need. All right, I slice this here, wrap that around. I'll do the same thing right about here. And wrap this around. Work it right on around. And there's a fitting here, and there's one right here. That's the wires, too. All right. Same thing on this side. Pipes here. Do a slice like that. Wrap that around here. Work it around. It's going to over overlap the other side. And this one.
Easy enough. Alright. I'm doing another section here. Peel this here. So peel this off. Maybe. And center this as best you can. Perfect. Turn out too bad at all. And of course, the battery definitely needs it. And that is seven foot or 80, 84 inches of this tape is what I use. Six foot, six inches wide. And that's all I have left. Uh, number four, Allen wrench, metric. Uh, exacto knife and some cleaner and that's what it looks like a few things to remember is you got your 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 stamp number up here like serial number it's right here so write that down or take a picture and then the battery they have a serial number underneath but that's not going to be covered but that's what I got so far. I plan on finishing this. That definitely needs to be covered. The controller box and these uh, on each side. And then it will be finished. This is the first one I've done, or the first time I ever worked with a tape. Uh, I did use a heat gun at times. It's laying here on the floor to heat it up and move it around on some of the corners. But like this section here, this piece is separate from this and separate from that and it flowed into it uh, pretty good. The same way down here. There's two separate pieces. This is separate from this one. And this flowed in. It's not too bad. So, looks good. And the battery, when you take the battery off, these connections here, make sure you cover them up. There's uh, the leads that go in here. I don't know if there's a capacitor or whatever in there, but there's, uh, you can get some sparks from that. So cover it up. Turned out good so far. Okay, I got both bikes finished. Uh, this took uh, two rolls of seven foot tape. It's seven foot by six inches, and this is all, this is all I had left. And on this one, took two rolls, and that's all I had left. This pattern or color here is break up, and they turn out pretty good. This one over here is obsession. One of two different colors. I can tell the bikes apart. So some of the tricks to putting this tape on are these angles. These angles are what 
was one of the main issues. So when I start like on this piece, I'd start here, measure it all the way down, and apply it to here, right to that first bolt, if there's a bolt there. And then I'd put a slot in it and uh, cover that bolt up. But when you come to this angle, on all these angles, every, every angle I had, I'd cut it this way with a exacto. So and then work this piece down to here and then work this angle up here straight up and overlap it. And it, it didn't leave too much of a, a crease on it. So all those angles were, were fun. Even like here on this, this piece here. So I'd start here, apply it all the way to here or up to here and then cut you can see where the cut is cut down and then put apply that and then underneath and then work those other angles around so that's what it took to get it done so we're going to see now how long it lasts and if it lasts a year that's good if it lasts two that's even better <laughs>